What I'm going to be talking about today is very, very important. <laughs> Let's talk about stationery. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I am talking about stationery. If you haven't checked out part one yet, I will leave the link in the description bar below so you can check that out and see all the nice things that I bought for university this year. I actually bought so much that my Primark bag split open and the lady in HomeSense had to tape it up for me. It wasn't a proud moment of mine. Okay, so moving on to this week's video, I am going to show you all the stationery that I've purchased ready for year two of university. Because I'm going into my second year at university, I did buy most of the things last year and to be honest, I'm still reusing them and I only had to get a few extra things. Everyone loves a stationery haul so I just thought I'd show you everything that I've got so far and some are super cute and I really want to show you. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I want to show you is this huge stationery box. This was actually from Aldi, can you believe it? It was $4.99 and it was in sort of like the middle section, you know, where they have like random good stuff. Um, but as soon as I found it, I was like, I need that right now. I've incorporated quite a lot of marble into my bedroom this year, um, as you will see in a minute. Um, but yeah, this was so essential, I needed it. <laughs> Basically, it's a big station box and you can label it if you want. There's like a little piece of paper that you can pull out. So you can write books or stationery or whatever you want to write. <laughs> I'm probably just going to put all my university books and notebooks and stuff in here. So they're all together. Or just all my stationery. I don't really know how I'm going to organise it yet. But I'm sure I'll update you when I have. But it's got this beautiful like baby blue lid. And then inside, I've actually got some things to show you. <laughs> but it's quite big and got a new smell, I love it. Um, but I just love how the marble and then the pink contrast together and then the blue as well. I think it just looks amazing and it's going to add some colour to my bedroom because I'm going kind of grey this year as you can tell from part one of this video. Um, so yeah, I love it. I really do. The next things I'm going to show you are inside this box. So I'm just going to pull out random things. <laughs> first thing, put this here. First thing is this pen. I'm sure a lot of you have already seen this. The trusty marble fluffy pen from Primark. I actually saw this a while ago and I was going to get it, but it had no like lid at the bottom. I went the other day and I found a lid and they were all brand new pens, so I just had to get it. And it matches perfectly with my box with the marble and the grey for my bedroom, so it was actually destiny. This pen was made for me. This was £1.50 and I just, ugh, I love it. I feel like a bit of legally blonde when I write it. Next thing I bought are just some Helix eraser tip graphite pencils. Really boring, but everyone needs pencils. I kind of like lost mine or broke mine last year. Um, and I love how they're all like fresh and sharpened and the rubber hasn't been touched. Ooh. It's kind of boring, just black pencils, but I find these really easy to write with and Helix, you can't really go wrong with Helix. So yeah, there was 12 in this set and I'm pretty sure they were one pound, one pound 50, I think, from Asda. So yeah, definitely get some of those. Also got some Wilco A4 punch pockets. So these are the just, the plastic wallets. Okay, I have a question for you. Comment down below what you call these because I'm actually very interested. I personally call them plastic wallets. Okay, these call them a punched wallet. And I did know some people that call them poly pockets. And for me, I used to play with poly pockets when I was younger, so I just it's just wrong. <laughs> but comment down below what you call them because I'm interested. Yeah, oh now I have to get them back in gonna put that down and deal with it later but yeah I just put those in my folders to keep my work just protected and yeah okay the next thing is some Crayola colored pencils 
and I love Crayola. I haven't had them since I was younger, and I just needed some new pencils, and I thought, you know what, Cray 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 <laughs> Crayola. <laughs> These were again like, maybe two pound actually. They're borderline two pound, but, oh, should we take them out? I remember these being so like thick and just good quality pencils and I miss colours in my life so I need some more pencils. <laughs> I just want to colour sometimes and doodle. Yeah, they're so like freshly sharpened and 12 different colours and I needed them, I think. Yes, Crayola. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I have wanted since I was in year 6 and a girl in my class had these and I've wanted them every single year since but they were like almost £10 like back in the day so I didn't bother getting them but you know what? I treated myself, I'm a grown woman and if I want some colourful pens I'm going to buy some <laughs> so I got these 20 brilliant colours the... ok I can't really pronounce it the Steidler? 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 <laughs> I can't say it, but they are very good pens. And if you just open this. Oh, look at all those colours, guys. And they're in like a nice, colourful order. Oh, these are just amazing. I love writing my note, my revision notes, writing in my diary and my journal in just the colourful pens. And I needed some new ones, so I thought I'd treat myself. Got these from Wilco's, I think. Um, and they were like, seven pound i think 7.99 um but i like them so much and i really wanted them oh i love this color no no no, no this one. Oh, it has a raspberry pink okay that's my favorite color i think from here Ooh. yeah i love these so much and i'm glad i purchased them <laughs> okay the last thing in this box is something i got from tiger and that open it for you. Ooh. This is a recipe book. Um, it says my recipes. And basically if you open it, I need to do a close up so you can see. But it has the recipe name and how I found out the recipe, like so from a magazine or from my mum. And then it says how to, so you write the method of the recipe. Um, the ingredients and some notes. And if you just look through, there's like different illustrations of, of like cooking and it just looks so cute. Oh my god, this one especially, it has spaghetti lines. Oh, I love that. <laughs> but yeah, and the front cover is super cute as well. But I just wanted a place where I can put all my recipes because I'm trying to cook a lot more now. And if I'm adapting some recipes for one people or one or two people, then I want to have somewhere I can write that down and I just really liked it. <laughs> but yeah, that was from Tiger and it was £3. I think it was £3. Um, I really should have brought my receipts. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to have great fun filling this out into all my different ideas. So if you have any really good recipes for students, comment them down below or send a link because I can put them in my book and try them out. Okay, that's the box empty now. The rest is just on the floor. So I to say goodbye to the beautiful marble box. <laughs> Next thing is also from Tiger, and I don't really know what to call this. Maybe a folder? But look, you think it's just a normal book, but no. You go like this to take the bands off, and then you open the book, and look at it. Oh my god, look at all the colours. It's amazing. So it's an A5 divider, folder thing. <laughs> I guess you could call it a folder. I do primary ed, so what I'm thinking is throughout the course I get ideas for teaching. I'm going to put each different subject idea in a different colour. So like, if I have ideas for teaching science, I might put some notes in the blue one and stuff like that. <laughs> If you're doing another subject, then you could simply put flashcards in when you're revising for exam for each module or each topic, and it'd be really nicely colour coordinated and beautiful. And then you close it, and it's all neatly put away. And this will stop it from opening if it's a bit chunky from all the flashcards. But yeah, 
I really like it. And I actually really like the green on the outside and the contrast with the blue line. It's very autumnal and it matches my box. <laughs> I'm so sad. So every single year I get an academic diary rather than a 2017 or 2018 diary because I always want to start in September when I start my new year, um, school year. So I got this one from the pound shop and can we just appreciate the colours? It's got gold which matches all the gold accents in my bedroom that I'm aiming for and I love the contrast with the grey and the blue colour. Well, like a turquoise colour and I just think it's so nice and even the gold binding I love and one pound can you believe it like this looks way more expensive than the pound shop this is like paper chase type stuff but yeah I'll show you a close up of the inside and it's a weekly view diary which I prefer because I like to see the whole week in one so I can see what's going on and be a bit more organised there's quite a lot of space under each day. So I'm going to write my timetable in here and a different colour. I'll probably write my homework or coursework deadlines. And then I'll add all my work shifts as well. If I can fit it in, I'll write what day I'm uploading which video. But that would mean I'm going to be very organised. I also just brought a plain refill pad with some A4 lines. Simple, I use this to take notes with in my lectures and then I whip them out and put them into my folders afterwards. Um, but I just like this one because it's really chunky um, and it was blue. <laughs> That's basically the only reason I got it. And this was like £2 in Wilco's. Oh, it's got that new paper smell. But yeah, I really like this and it matches quite a lot of my stage show that I have down here. <laughs> The next item is from Wilco's, super cute and I can't wait to show you. It is this ring binder. I actually have two of them and they are a brown colour just with some drawn cactuses on the top and I just thought they were just so sweet and so simple and then inside is hot pink inside which I love. Um, but yeah, I just I love this so much and it was only £1.25 which was such a deal. I've only got two because firstly I have some folders from last year that I'm just going to reuse because I put my work somewhere else and then I don't actually know how many I'm going to need this year because I'm not sure how many modules I have yet but ah, they're going to look so nice on my desk. Alright imagine them over there. Yeah they look good right? <laughs> so yes £2.50 for both of them. 125 each, what an absolute bargain and I can't believe Wilco's made these again this is like paper chase kind of stuff Wilco's well done okay next is technically stationary technically not um, first day is this marble contact paper I actually got this from Amazon and I think it was three, four pound I think um, no, it's, oh it's got tape let me just take this off. Ooh. Yeah, let's see. Ooh. It's just marble contact paper. Oh, gosh. <laughs> um, but it's just like shiny paper and then it's, you peel it off and it's sticky. What I'm using this for is to do a DIY on my bedside table because um, I have a bedside table already, but I had no furniture in this new house, so I had to bring it with me. But it was really old and we sort of just kept it in storage from when my sister used to have it. And oh my god, Kellis, if you're out there watching this, who's my sister, she made it such a mess. It was disgusting. Just marks on the top and inside the drawer was gross. So I'm using this to transform it and I'm going to make a video out of it. Hopefully it goes well. <laughs> but this will match so good with the box that I got and my fluffy pen and all the greys that are in my room at the moment. So yes, this is needed and kind of stationary because it's kind of paper, kind of not. <laughs> to go with that, I've got some gold wrapping paper. This is for the inside of the drawers because they're really gross from, I don't know what she put in there. Um, but they're gold and 
this was a pound and I really liked it and I thought it would go really nice with the marble and again I am putting gold accents in my bedroom which I talked about a lot on part one yeah I'm just gonna cut this up stick it in the bottom of the drawer and just glam up a bit really also I'll have some for birthdays too because I have a thing about wrapping paper <laughs> I never buy it every year I buy Christmas wrapping paper and I have some left over so throughout the year I use the Christmas wrapping paper for birthdays and then by the time I get back to Christmas I ran out of wrapping paper because I used it for people's birthdays and then I have to buy some more Christmas paper and then it's just a continuous cycle so this time I actually have birthday proof wrapping paper so if it's your birthday and I'm going to send you a present this is what it's going to be wrapped in Okay. the last item is again kind of stationary, kind of homeware but it is a pin board. But something is different about this pin board. <laughs> this has the map on. Oh, it's really shiny. So I'll just do a close up for you. I'll show you this side. <laughs> this is how big it is. And what I'm gonna do is another little DIY on this too. Because I've been to quite a lot of places and I really do enjoy traveling, I'm going to buy some little pins um, and pin the places that I've been. It does actually come with some pins, but I'm not too crazy about the colours and I want to be really precise and do a lot of pins, so I'm going to get some thin ones from eBay, which I'm yet to get. Um, and then I'm going to print out some photos and put them all around and like labelling the places that I've been. Maybe put some fairy lights around it too and just make it look really cute. And then it's probably going to go over there on top of my desk. But yeah. Uh, this was £7 from the works. But yes, that is all the stationery I've accumulated so far. Um, I didn't get as much as I did last year just because I have it all already, like all my pens and folders and everything like that. Um, so I'm just going to be reusing it. But if you want to see a video of how I use all this stationery or how I organise my work, then just leave a comment down below suggest some ideas and if you want to see that I will be doing a what's in my uni bag once I'm back at uni and I'm using it regularly 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 <laughs> once I'm using it regularly uh, so stay tuned for that if you are new to this channel then welcome um, please subscribe and check out part one of this video which I will link in the description bar below and I really hope you liked what I got Give this video a thumbs up if you love stationery as much as I do. It is a strong passion of mine and the amount of things I wanted to buy was crazy. There's so many nice things in the shops lately. Especially in Tiger, Sainsbury's have some nice things, Wilco. So many places. And Primark, they've stepped up their game too. They have a lot of Marvel notebooks and stuff. But I really didn't need any more so I had to restrain myself. Oh, one more thing. I would really like to film a university Q&A video, so leave a comment down below. Any questions or queries that you have about university, about freshers, about living in halls, anything, anything at all. And I will film a Q&A video for you guys that will be up shortly. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye guys. It's thumbnail time. Doo -doo -doo -doo.